I just deliberately gave GMO genetically modified organisms to my kids and I loved them. So these right here, go ahead and get a close up here. These are the purple tomatoes from Norfolk Healthy Produce. They are really purple. In fact, they almost look black, but when you get that light reflecting on them, you can see the purple pigmentation. Let's cut one open. So these are the first and only purple fleshed tomato. Look at this. So they wanted to increase the antioxidant levels. And so there is a compound called anthocyanin that is naturally high in other types of foods, such as blueberries and blackberries. And they got that anthocyanin gene from a purple snapdragon and crossed it in the tomatoes. And it came up with this. And they're really good. They've got great flavor, a little bit of sourness, a little bit of that acidity, but also sweetness to them. Overall, a wonderful tasting cherry tomato. So their goal is to make it where it's a fruit that's high in antioxidant that is easy to grow and cheap to grow. So tomatoes, for most people, are a lot easier to grow than something like a blackberry. And Americans as a whole consume way more tomatoes than they do blackberries or blueberries. And so this is a wonderful way for people to get more antioxidants into their diet. Odds are very high that you consume GMOs in some way, shape, or form every day because of all of the different GMO crops that are present in the U.S. right now. But this is the first GMO that is readily available for you as a homeowner to buy and grow in your home garden. So yeah, you could actually get these seeds right now and grow them in your garden and try out this vitamin-packed tomato that looks kind of like a plum. My kids love them, by the way. I had to stop them or they would have eaten them all. I was like, I still have to record a video.